Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Um, so this reading could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart. That said, um, we're all of different ages. We are all going through different types of experiences, living in different places in the world. So um, there's just no possible way that this reading could resonate with everyone. Um, but I'm hopeful that there's something in this reading that can help you in your journey forward. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are, just as you are in this moment. I welcome you here and I'm happy that you're here. Let's go ahead and check into this group of Pisces people to see what the current energy is. Current energy for the sign of Pisces. Current energy for the group, this group of Pisces people. Current energy for this group of Pisces people. Jeez. Current energy for this group of people. Current energy for this group of people, please. Current energy for this group of people. Current energy, please. touching the tripod accidentally here. The tripod hovers um, over the top of the desk and it's a tripod that I can move because I'm kind of a wanderer. So I like to move. And so um, I hope to catch it if it goes blurry. It's been, sometimes if I move it accidentally, it will blur. So I'm, I'm trying to keep my eye on it. Anything else for the current time period? Anything else? We're okay. Let's look at the energy now that Pisces will be stepping into. The energy that Pisces will be stepping into in the future, in the ne next immediate future. The next immediate future, the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. Depending on how fast you're moving. Again, these readings can be for a very short amount of time, or they can, for some people, talk about a bigger picture. So, um, I am bringing the message forward. I'm um, giving it to you in a way that you can fit it into your own scenario. What is Pisces stepping into? What is Pisces stepping into? I've got to ground myself here. There's just a buzzing all over throughout me here. There's a buzzing of electricity. What is Pisces stepping through? What is Pisces stepping into? What is Pisces stepping into? What is Pisces stepping into in the next immediate future? For this group of Pisces people, what is Pisces stepping into, please? What is Pisces stepping into? What is Pisces stepping into? Guidance for Pisces, please. Guidance for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces, please. Guidance for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces. There's a bigger story here. There's a big story that's here, Pisces. My head is cold, and there's lots of cards flipping over, which tells me that there could be quite a bit going on. There we go. Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands. Strength.
Pisces, it feels like you've just un, un, um, unlatched the floodgates. You've unlatched the floodgates on something here. Okay, let me let me make sure I Give me a second. I mean I knew this was big when I was shuffling. I knew it was big, Pisces. Sorry, now I'm moving everything. I'm just leaning on the table. I feel like I need to lean on something right now. I think you've unleashed, this group of Pisces people have unleashed the, uh, uh, unli unlatched or unleashed the floodgates and you're moving forward onto something. Um, it's something, oh man, it's, you're using your whole self to do this. Whatever this is, you're using your whole self. You're not just using your mind. You're not just using your expression. You're using the passion within you, the soldier within you, the fighter within you, the warrior within you, but not only this warrior type energy, um, you are very much staying real about this in, in earlier days or years past or in other situations, you could have done something that um, as you move forward, I just feel like there's a different trajectory now where in the past you could have been in a more illusionary space or maybe um, you had an idea or you were doing something and it was kind of hard to stay um, grounded when you were doing it. I think that you're very much at this point um, staying very practical and pragmatic about whatever this is. So, um, what I'm seeing is a chariot energy. Like if the chariot card was here, I would, I would get, you know, in the extended readings, I'll dig down into a, into one card. And this reminds me of what, um, I would, if the chariot energy would be on the table and I would dig down into the energy, this is what I would get for the chariot energy. <laughs> so you're moving forward onto something. It's, it's the knight of swords too. So you could be surprising the heck out of people. You could be surprising people. You could be very edgy. You could be very sharp. You could have a lack of patience. You could have a lack of tolerance for other people. Um, where you could have been halted before, or worried before, there is some sort of moving forward. I don't know if you've unlatched these gates yourself or if there's been something here in the universe that just has come alive for you, some kind of energetic opening that's allowed you to move through but you have certainly just moved through into something and you have the nine of swords in reverse and you have the seven of pentacles in the upright. So I see you in this imagining place. And this is a skill that is the best for, for Pis Pisces people. You guys are the imagination, the imagination station, you know, the imagination nation. I mean, you guys can um, imagine and dream and paint pictures um, in a way that many of us cannot. Um, and you're moving forward in this doing energy and this expressing energy. Um, in, and you are staying very grounded. And um, in the way that you're planning and investing in your future, it's, a, it's in a very grounded way with the Seven of Pentacles. So there's something here that's very tangible. See how her face is in this energy. Let me get the card in the... See if I can get it to focus. See her face. She's looking at the apples, the harvest of the apple tree. And she's thinking about what she's going to do. This apple is not yet ripe. I don't think it's ripe yet because she's not going to pick it. She's just looking at it, isn't she? Look at her face. She's thinking about how she's going to do this. She has something tangible. Let me change something on my computer here. 
It's distracting me. She has something tangible to work with now. There's something tangible. She has invested in something. She's not moving forward just at a whim, right? This is a different energy that I feel. Um, this could be a very different way of moving forward for you. But for, for this group of Pis Pisces, you really mean business now. I mean, you're very serious about this with the Knight of Swords. This isn't the Knight of Wands energy, this come and go kind of energy or the whirlwind energy. This is a warrior energy here with the Knight of Swords. This is about expression. This is about the use of words. This is about your truth and how you express your truth. And there is a lot of power that comes along um, with this energy of the Knight of Swords energy. Um, you no longer are worried about this. There's something here that is broke free for you and you're moving forward here. Um, and you're, you're kind of surrendering to this because there's something here that is of a tangible nature for you. There's something that you can take now. You've, you've, you have created a situation that now is going to bring in further abundance. Um, just like this farmer that goes to look at the apple harvest, um, just growing the fruit and having the fruit on the tree. Um, is not the end of this process. It's only the beginning. Um, there is need to now care for this fruit that's on the tree. There's a need to watch the weather. There's a need to watch um, when the cold season will hit. Um, there's a need now to figure out how to pick all of this fruit. Where is the labor going to come from? There's a need to where are you going to sell this fruit? What are you going to do with this fruit? It's only begun, right? This process has only begun, but there is a there is a state of reality here that's quite exciting for this group of Pisces because there's actually a fruit. There's actually something here to work with, and it's pretty exciting. We have the Nine of Wands here. This is an energy of a specialist energy. The Nine of Wands is a self-advocacy energy. It is a self-defensive energy. Um, it is an energy of protection. It's an energy of um, it's an energy of protection and preemptive action. Um, so I see you now stepping out, stepping out in front of this and working to create something here, manifest something here with the magician, um, something new, something that you've not done before with a full energy, but this is done with the queen of pentacles. So it's quite Pisces. I am just so freaking proud of this because, um, this is what I see the seven of pentacles here with the queen of pentacles. There's a very grounded practical nature here. You're looking at the details. This is merging wit, expression, um, creation, um, plunging forward into something with intelligence and clarity, but also having this very business-minded kind of point of view. The Queen of Pentacles is able to implement. She can take a big plan. She can take a big project and she can zoom down into it. She can zoom into it and she can look at the details of it and she can manage those details. She is the mastermind of operational delegation, operational completion. She knows how to make things work. She's reliable. She's responsible. She's tenacious. She's perseveres. She could be overworking. So be careful that you don't overwork, especially with this strength card. Make sure that you're getting your rest. Make sure that you are, um, finding that calmness within yourself because I can feel this like this whirlwind kind of energy um, and and now I can now that that has been acknowledged I can feel the energy change so you know make sure that you're getting the time in for yourself to to relax to rest because this is a very active this is a very active and kind of a little bit scary time period for you um, it's interesting how the fool energy comes over the top of the strength energy energy. So this is something new that you're doing. It's something new that you're working very hard to do, having the clarity for it, implementing it, um, having the passion within yourself to keep moving forward um, and having the self-love and the love for others here to do this in the right way, to do this in the most abundant and nourishing and healthy way. Um, the interesting thing is the fool energy is over the top of the strength energy. So um, you're really learning how to manage now, uh, manage your weaknesses um, with the Queen of Pentacles, managing those weaknesses, really getting into the details now and moving things forward in, a, in such a powerful way as only the Queen of Pentacles can do, but also now using your superpowers to really flow things forward. Um, this is a strength energy. It is learning how to manage and and rein in and control this powerful energy um, that is within you. 
um, to be successful in whatever this is. So you're really, um, you've got this, it says this is a chariot energy and you've got the chariot's reins in your hands and those um, animals or whatever is pulling your chariot is really, um, I think in this deck is, is the black and white horses. Um, you've really got the horses under control. Everything's working as a team. And it's because you're able to really manage yourself in such a powerful way with the strength energy. You're really stepping into something new here. For this group of Pisces people, you're stepping into something new and you're incorporating here your wit, um, your imagination, the passion within yourself and the practicality that you have within yourself to really move forward in a powerful and aligned way into the future. This is an epic little story. So if this is a, a, a new project that you're doing or something new you're doing at work or a new relationship or a new something that you're doing, and um, whatever it is you're doing, it's something that you're doing a slightly different than you've ever done it before. You're no longer as worried about it as you were before. And you've begun to engage in it in a, in a, um, in a real way. So whatever this is, it's something that you're stepping into and you're stepping into it in a very powerful way where you could be surprising people. You could be even making some people angry, even the Knight of Swords, but it's definitely a surprise. It's definitely powerful. It's definitely fast. All right. What are the, I'm going to keep all these cards for the current. I'm not going to put any back. I'm not going to put the clarifiers back. All right. Let's look at what's coming out next. We have the four of pentacles. The prince of cups. I'm almost scared to look and see what's under these cards. The Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow, you guys. Four of Wands. Seven of Swords. Damn, Seven of Swords. The Princess of Pentacles. That damn Seven of Swords. Man, I don't like that Seven of Swords. How's it do with this Four of Pentacles here? Tell me more about the Seven of Swords, please. Look at how amazing these energies are. They're all so... Well, it truly is a gift here, the Seven of Swords, but it's something that... Look how it's in the middle here. Something happened. <laughs> something happened that has pushed you forward. It's in the middle of this reading. So something has happened that has pushed you forward. Because something has ignited this, this Knight of Swords. Something has ignited him or her. And it's the Seven of Swords here. You're, there's some kind of revision. Um, whoever see the Seven of Swords, now it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this kind of a couple. But see how happy, see how happy the lady in purple is or the whatever color that is. See how happy she is. She's blissful. And look at the eyes here of the, of the man and look at this other person. Now I'm not saying this is a situation at all. I'm just saying that when this person here who's happy, when she opens her eyes and she see what's, sees what's going on, this is what she's going to do. Okay. So in some way here, this purple coated lady, is getting some sort of boost. And I'm not saying there's a betrayal here like this that's going on. It can be with anything that you're working on. But something here that you were maybe waiting on or you were maybe, see, you were in the, sorry, I hit the tri tripod. You're in this Nine of Wands energy. You're in this very protective kind of energy. Um, so there's something here that surprised you or shocked you or, or took you out of some sort of, 
place that you were finding sanctuary, but there truly was something maybe going on that you were maybe avoiding or you were just procrastinating. I, in my life, have procrastinated, have spent some time in this energy before because I maybe questioned my own abilities to move forward or I was just procrastinating. Um, something here with the Seven of Swords has really, it's this Four of Pentacles. There's something here, this Four of Pentacles energy is just kind of plodding along, right? This guy is kind of plodding along. Um, and all of a sudden, it's like there's a carriage coming up around the corner. This is, the, they're playing a little, up around the corner, there's this carriage of like robbers that are coming up around the corner. And all of a sudden, this guy who has been like, trudging along with this bag of money, all of a sudden gets into action. He scoops up these coins and off he goes. <laughs> something like that. There's something here um, that moves you forward. That's moving you forward. There is a brand new inspiring. Um, it's it's something that really inspire. I don't need to go into the Seven of Swords now. I already did it. So I'm done with the Seven of Swords. <sighs> There's something here. A new inspiration, a new idea a new introduction. Um, it's something that's, that is going to help build a foundation. That's the four of wands here. So um, whatever this new introduction is that comes in the tailwind of the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is kind of a blessing. It might not feel like a blessing at the time. Like when this lady in purple opens her eyes and see what's going on here between these two, she's going to feel like the world just fell out from under her. But after she realizes, like, this is not a good teammate, like, if this teammate is, is, um, it's got his eye on some other project or some other business dealing or some other person, um, this is not a good teammate. So somehow this is releasing you from something and moving you forward and getting you to really get going here <laughs> um, with this bag of money that you have, really getting going. And whatever you're going to start getting going on with this new inspiration is bringing in a new foundation with the Four of Wands. Could be a new lover, could be a do, new business dealing or a new business formation or something that you're fixing on your home. This could even be a storm that comes up that takes some siding off your house and now you're needing to fix your siding and you know that you've needed to fix your house for a long time and now the storm came which could be the seven of swords and is requiring you to do some work that you've been needing to do for the longest time it could it could be something that simple um, but there's definitely something new here with the page with the with the page of cups something new something that warms your heart um, it brings in some kind of fluttering of, uh, this could be it. This could be the new business. This could be the time, but there's something here as you're moving into the future that you're creating for yourself here, this new foundation that you're creating for yourself. We do have the nine of pentacles. So I think there's a real sense here, um, of something very tangible happening to you as an individual. So this is about your self, um, your, your, the strength of yourself to bring in the income that you need to live in a healthy way or the internal strength of yourself to make strong personal decisions for yourself. The nine of pentacles energy is a very, is an energy. It doesn't have to be a single energy, but it can often be a person who's single and finding comfort and health and vitality in the singlehood of an experience. Now, this person doesn't have to actually be single, but can have the nine of pentacles feeling within a relationship. In fact, the most beautiful relationships that I have seen have been two people who have their own identities, um, but who work in a, in a, as a very powerful team together. Um, and people that can do that, people that can be in a couple as a couple here. So you can be in a couple and, and have this reading, um, pertain to you. Um, the people that are in a couple who can create their own identities and manage themselves and be reliant among themselves, be, um, be self-sufficient either if it's financially or even self-sufficient in understanding their own value as a person, not having a interdependence on another person. These kind of people have like the most, um, passionate team, they have the most passion within their marriages because they have this powerful yin and yang that when those yin and yang are combined, you have like, you know, passion. Um, they have the yin and the yang separate 
or they have their entities separate. So when they come together, there's like a fizzling. Um, so when the nine of pentacles doesn't have to be a single person, as single as in not in a relationship, but the nine of pentacles does signify the importance of personal identity, personal um, reliance, personal choice, you know, the idea of one person, one soul, you know, and then having the, the ability here with the Ten of Pentacles to find a sense of team, uh, to find a sense of a team or a sense of completion or something with the Ten of Pentacles. So we do see you here, whatever the Seven of Swords was, whatever this Knight of Swords is doing here, moving forward on something, it is actually like you moving into a much more powerful, independent kind of zone. It's like the money zone or the freedom zone or the health zone, whatever it is, it's, it's thanks to the seven of swords here. Although at the time it can feel the betrayal is, I think betrayal, the feeling of betrayal or the feeling of dishonor is, is one of the harshest emotions to have to go through. But that feeling of betrayal can put, um, this knight of swords into action better than anything, any other emotion. So it is a great, combustible. It's a great fuel to move into um, a very powerful individual kind of energy. So as you're moving forward with this new inspiration, this new introduction, whatever this new energy is that is creating some sort of a commitment here or foundation here or something new here that will be with you for a long time to come. Um, we do see that this start that starts to bear fruit. It starts to bring in some sort of tangible improvement here. Um, with this, with this page of, uh, this page of pentacles here. So we see her here with the graves and we see her counting money. We see her being very studious and recording um, all the details and all the numbers. And we see more money down here. So there is some major improvement here as you go from the nine of pentacles here to the 10 of pentacles. So either there's a partner that you're working with or some sort of um, there's some sort of elements that are coming together to make this, this whole story complete for you. It is something new that you, that you're doing. Um, but whatever this is new that you're doing here, it gets you very quickly to the success point. Um, I don't know why you've waited so long, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe that's why the universe gave you this seven of swords, because it seems like it happens fairly quickly. This doesn't have to be an epic story now. This doesn't have to be a life changing moment. This can be something small that you're doing. Remember, we're looking at a very short amount of time. Several weeks or a month is a very, very short amount of time in the, in the whole scheme of a lifetime. So this could just be something that you're, you know, you might have been thinking about doing something for a long time and you've just been procrastinating on doing it and something happened that scared you, that motivated you to finally do it. And it turns out to be the best thing you've ever done. And you don't know why you waited so long to do this. Um, it could be anything really, but what it brings you is is tangible improvements, I think, fairly quickly. And it also puts you in a position of the Ten of Pentacles, which is security, financial abundance, financial security. You could be doing something very quickly to get some sort of a major bonus. Like you could eat actually, you know, you could even have a, you could even be out in the community and you could have a job of commissions. You could be selling something and you know that there's this person in the community that you have been um, wanting to talk to for a long time. And for some reason, it, you've been scared to talk to this person, or maybe you thought that you weren't good enough to talk to them or something. And you heard that somebody down the street, somebody that does the same business as you, maybe you are, um, maybe you do home design or something. And maybe there was a home that's being built and it's a nice home. It's a big home. And you just think that maybe there would be someone here who has a budget to work with a, with a deck, uh, with a designer, like a, I don't know what is even called a home designer. <laughs> and you're, you just, you're, you're slightly intimidated because this home is beautiful. Um, but then you hear that the person down the road who also does home design or whatever it's called, interior design, that's what it's called. I'm laughing at myself because I'm kind of a dork right now. Um, you've heard that that person is thinking about going and talking to this, to this person. Um, but you've been thinking about it for a long time. And this idea that that person who just started doing home, see, 
It's so, it's so funny. This story is cracking me up. Um, the person down the road who just started doing home design, who just moved into town and started their office, has the nerve and has the golly to think that they can walk. You know, it's that kind of thing. This is seven of swords. It can be something so silly as that, but whatever it is, it puts you into motion and it sends you into the next plunge into the next frontier. And it opens some major doors for you because you have been somehow spurned forward or somehow with the Seven of Swords, you have been driven forward to do something that you would have normally not done. So that's what I see coming forward in the next few weeks. And ultimately, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful result that I see with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles with the P Princess of Pentacles. And then we also have the Four of Wands. I mean, there's a beautiful new relationship starting here, whether it's a love or business or whatever it is. It's beautiful commitment, beautiful new foundation, a beautiful start to something new. I mean, it's super exciting, Pisces. <laughs> Man. Let's see what the guidance is for you. Let's see see what the guidance is for you. And during the um, extended, I'll dig deeper into some of these energies and see if we can find out more about what this could be. Okay. Let's look at the guidance. There's a little bit of guidance here. There's a little bit more than normal. So let's just see what comes out. Well, this is basically that story I told about the the interior designer and the whole, um, there has been some kind of like protective energy or um, it's a protective energy here with the Queen of Swords. See this face with the Eight of Swords. There's something here that's kind of keeping her in this. And and even as I, as I said this story, I mean, doesn't it kind of feel like this energy? Um, something has been keeping you from going, moving forward. Um, but, but there is an energy here of protection. Um, no one is going to help you in a way that you can help yourself. Um, so there is going to be a need here to come out from behind um, this, this eight of swords here where you're kind of stuck, stuck with something. And I don't think I, this energy doesn't really match with this picture. Um, but the eight of swords is the energy of, of being, thinking you might be less than what you are or somehow feeling helpless when you're not helpless somehow feeling disempowered when you're actually quite powerful when you set foot to it. Um, when the Queen of Swords finds her way out of this prison, she is a fiercest warrior. She can get so much done. The Queen of Swords is one of the strongest energies in tarot. And um, she can really um, make strides when she when she finally lets herself loose. So there is something here that's going to push you out of the Eight of Swords and, and help you to make the two of wands decision and action change or an act, make it, make a decision and take action in something. You have the three of cups here in reverse, which is an, an, an energy here of, um, too many people, too many people being involved or an invasion of some sort or people getting in other people's business. Something with people. It's something with people here move you forward into where you could have been before, which, too many options, too many ways of, of it ha of not happening the way you're, you're not sure um, how it's going to turn out. And you could be like, well, it could be like this, or she could say this, or he could say that. And maybe it won't go so good. And maybe I should go this way and do this first. Maybe I need to do all these other things first. And then after I do that, then I can step forward. There's something here with the seven of cups in reverse that you just go for it. There's something here from people being too much in your space or something with people, something that you hear, something that that it's the energy of something that you hear, something that spurs you forward and, and ha gets you out of the stagnation that you were in. So move forward. You'll know when the time is right. You'll know when you reach this point. Um, as there comes a time in the next few weeks that you move forward into some new frontier and you are pushed forward be because of something that happens in your life, I think you're going to remember this reading. For those of you that resonate with that, this resonates with, you will in the future remember this reading because this is a very specific message for this group of Pisces people. Um, so sometimes it's okay to wait. Sometimes if we're not quite ready, it's okay to wait. But 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 sometimes the, the universe gives us special gifts, special little explosions of energy that help us to step into new frontiers or to step through new new doorways or new openings. And I think this is going to be a situation that many Pisces people um, will come across in the next few weeks to help them um, to get closer to a um, to a financial success or financial improvement. 
or some kind of financial bonus or a pop of money or a pop of something here that's going to help you in your financial expansion because we went from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles quite quite beautiful all right pisces i am going to take a quick break and then i'm, I'm going to dig in let me look at so, tr tr figure out what energies i'm going to dig into here i'm going to dig into this new fool energy i am going to dig into This Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Those are the four energies I'm going to dig deeper into here to see what this is. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and their intentions as this situation moves forward. All right. So and their, their, those people's intentions. All right. So for those of you that are satisfied with this reading, that makes me really happy. Um, for those of you that want more information and um, feel free to go to the extended reading in the link below. Um, and I'm going to take a break and I'll come back in a, in a little while and I'll dig into these energies and, and get more information for you. All right. Thank you, my beautiful friends. It's always such a pleasure to get into the Pisces energy. I wish you all a beautiful, a bountiful, a loving, a fruitful, an abundant journey forward. Um, in 2020. All right. Thank you.